Yo, what is going on YouTube? Souls and Lace is back with another video. And for today's video, I want to share with you guys my most recent, I guess you guys can say pickup, but it's not something that I really bought. I ended up trading a pair, or actually two pairs of sneakers for these right here. And as you guys see already from the thumbnail and the title of the video, you guys know what these are right here. So there's a lot going on with this shoe, but it is a nice sneaker. So I'm going to try to go through it as quick as I can. So let's jump right into the video. All right. So you, you guys know already how I do these reviews for you. So just real quick, I want to show you guys the box. So as you guys can see, it is another Nike SB striped era box. You got the, all the colors right there. Nike SB branding right there. And now let's take a look at the box label now. So the label reads Nike SB Dunk Low Pro QS and that stands for Quick Strike for those that didn't know. This is a size 8. So if you guys have been watching my videos lately, you guys know that I need a size 8 in Dunk Lows now. I can't fit really a 7.5 because they just kill my feet. So size 8. This is straight for the toes. And now uh, retail for these was 110. And now uh, just real quick, so like I was saying, I traded two pairs of sneakers for these. And um So shout out to 1004 Kicks real quick. I'll leave his um his Instagram somewhere here on the screen. And if not, I'll leave it in the description box. You guys can check his his page out and give him a follow. But um some of you guys may think that I'm crazy for this trade, but for me it doesn't really matter the value. So the two sneakers that I traded for was the Off-White 5s, the sale ones that recently released in October, and the Medicom SB Lows. So both of those were size A as well, both of those were dead stock, and to me, I don't really care about those shoes. I'm not really too much of a big fan of the Off-Whites, and um, this is just something more of my taste. I know it might not be everybody's cup of tea because it has a lot of colors and kind of different you know but to me i like the different colors on the sneakers when they do something like this so i mean at the end let me know your guys' thoughts but i feel like i kind of won the deal but it really just depends on what you like so just buy what you like forget the hype but let's get real quick into the box so on the inside standard but since this shoe you know it is kind of like a special almost like a special edition so so right here you'll notice it has some menu items so basically this box paper is supposed to be like a traditional food menu so that's what that is right here that's where you see the words right here you got chicken feet cold noodle and then behind it it's supposed to be like a i guess like the geography of china because that's where the inspiration comes from the sneaker so that's that but now I'm gonna bring out the kicks. So I'll be right back. All right, and here's a look at the sneakers. So this is the Nike SB Dunk Low Pro and the Street Hawkers colorway. So man, <laughs> when 1004 Kicks finally agreed to trade with me, I was so excited, but wasn't too excited until I got them in hand. And um, so real quick, um, he got these off the exclusive access on the sneakers app. And I don't even know how, but he was like, yo, I just hit. Look, boom. He showed me the got em screen of the street hoggers. And I was like, oh my God. Like I wanted those so bad and he had, and he got them. So I was just like, you know, I gotta, we, 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 we wear the, the same size. So I was like, you know, let's, 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 let's make a trade. So I had a couple of kicks that. So like I mentioned earlier in the video, I have the Off-White 5s and I'm not really a fan of the Off-White 5s or for any Off-Whites for that fact. I'm not really a fan of them. So I was just like, you know, I got the Off-Whites and, you know, he wanted something else on top of that. And I felt like it was kind of fair, just the Off-Whites, but I was like, I really wanted these. So I'm like, I'll let him know what else I have that I can throw in there. But um, shout out to him because he was either going to sell them at a sneaker event or just hold on to them. But, you know, he came to his senses and we we made a deal. And so we traded the sneakers, shipped them out at the same time. And now I'm giving you guys a review. And uh, 
I just want to give you guys a quick look at the sneakers. So here's a 360 look. So like I said earlier in the video, I know it's not everybody's cup of tea. And because this is mainly like, so it's one sneaker, but you got basically two different colorways on each. And a lot of people may not like that, but me personally, I like when it has like a concept to it and you know, the mismatching, I like it. So I had no problem with trading with those sneakers. So but yeah, like I said, um, so, so since it is two different sneakers, essentially two different colorways, I'm going to start off with the one on the left. So the lighter one, and then we'll do this one right here. So let me just pull this one to the side. And um, we'll be right back and break down the shoe. All right, so like I said, we're gonna start off with the left sneaker. So as you guys can see, you have one that's lighter and one that's darker. So in this case, for the left sneaker, you have like these lighter tones and that's basically for the three flower base dishes that was inspired by the sneaker. And um, so we're gonna start off with the toe box area. So let me turn this right here. So as you guys can see that hairy gray texture right there so that's basically supposed to mimic the color and the texture of a green bean soup and i know you guys might think gr green bean soup so why does it look gray so the broth and all of that ends up looking this color after so don't get it confused um for some of the dishes i'll try to leave an image but if i can't find one i apologize and while while i'm at it so before I even pronounce any of these Chinese cities or dishes wrong, I want to apologize. I'm going to try my best to pronounce it, but like I said, I want to apologize in advance. If I get it wrong, just correct me, I guess, in the comment section. But I'm going to try my best, my best, not breast, to, um, to break down the sneaker. All right, so we did, the, we did the, the toe area right there. So now looking at the forefoot, so you have this water watercolor canvas material which basically mimics fried donut patterns so you see like these circles right here that's what that's supposed to be right there and now we're looking at the at the midfoot area so you see like this right here this tan embossed texture so that's supposed to resemble the shredded pita bread and she and in a she and dish like I said, I apologize again if I'm saying it wrong, but I'm not looking at the swoosh. I'm talking about this part right here. So it's supposed to resemble like pita bread. So as you see, like the cracks in between, really nice touch. And now we're looking at the swoosh. So you see like a brown wood grain texture, and that's basically just supposed to represent the chopsticks that they use when they eat the food. And now we're looking at the heel right here. So you got this coin right here, and it's basically just a 10 cent copper coin hinting at the Young Chung noodles. Again, if I'm saying that wrong, I apologize. And so now right here on the yellow tabs right behind the sneaker. So you got more of that canvas material and then you're stitching in white and got like a, like a Chinese character right there. And so basically this just this just means food translation for food and then right here towards the back around the ankle so you got this white leather and then you're stitching across right there as well and then right here so this part of the sneaker where you see like the little hits of like white so that right there is supposed to just mimic the noodles I'm not sure exactly which dish, but it is supposed to be noodles. So it is again a canvas material, also done in like a watercolor pattern. Now let's take a look at the midsoles. So you basically just got a white midsole, and it might be a little hard to see, but in between the stitching of the midsole, you have like this blue stitching. And so basically that's supposed to uh, resemble porcelain bowls. So the blue and white, basically that's just the how the colors of the porcelain bowls are. And again, I, for everything that I'm breaking down, I'll try to leave a picture so you guys have a better visual and understanding of the sneaker and the inspiration. 
So now let's take a look at the insoles. I'm actually gonna take those out, so just give me a second, I'll be right back. All right, so here's a look at the insoles. So basically done in blue and white, but what it really is, it's supposed to be a picture of a blue sky, which is inspired by traditional Chinese slang, implying that people, you know, treat their food as their heaven. So of course you got this sky blue, a little hits of purple and white. So that's a really nice touch overall, really dope. And I like that both the insoles are different. They all have basically their own story, but you'll see it later on in the video. And then looking, taking a look right here. So you got your Zoom Air and Nike NSB and like that sky blue color as well. And since it is a SB, Zoom Air, the Zoom Air unit is right here. So that's the insole, but now we're gonna take a look at the outsole. So the outsole is done like almost like a different shade of blue, but it's like a lighter blue. Traditional SB bottom. And then you got Nike SB right there in the middle in white. And then last but not least, you got the sock liner right here that's done in your green. And I'll explain that later on in the video what it really means. So now we're gonna move on to the right sneaker. So be right back. All right, now we take a look at the right sneaker. So as you guys noticed already, but if you didn't, so as you guys saw, the, the the left one was basically more lighter colors and this one is more like your darker tones. But basically these hotter and darker colors are just supposed to resent, I mean represent the different types of heats of the foods. So as we did with the other one, we're going to start off with the toe box area. So as you guys see right here, it is like a copper metallic and that basically just represents the hot pots in which the dishes are cooked in. So a very nice touch. Got like a bronze type color. Perforation holes right there. And then right here by the forefoot around the toe box area. So all this right here, the reds, the orange, the yellows, basically that just is supposed to represent your boiling chili oil. And it's done in almost like a leather material but it doesn't necessarily feel like a leather. It might be, but it definitely has a different texture than this. So now let's take a look at the midfoot. So right here, this orange, at first I thought it was red. In pictures it looked red, but either way it still looks dope. So right here you got like this orange ostrich leather and that basically is inspired by the crispy roasted goose skin, which is famous in Guangzhou. Again, if I'm saying that wrong, I apologize, but try try my best here. And um, so this little section right here by the by the swoosh. So we have like a mixture of like yellows and browns and reds. So basically what that is, it's a flame and and lychee wood. I believe that's um if I'm saying it right. Um lychee wood and it's basically just used um to roast the goose and again it's done in like a watercolor type pattern and then let's take a look at the swoosh so it basically is silver leather so almost like the silver toes that we got recently it's almost like that same silver so basically what this represents is the metal hook used to hang the goose and it makes perfect sense because if you do tilt the sneaker around what does that look like? A hook. So that was a real nice touch, I thought. Really cool detail. So now we're gonna continue with the heel. So on the left shoe, you had like a white canvas, I mean a yellow canvas material, but on this one you have brown leather. And you, again, you had the same character right here, the Chinese character, which means food. Then right here, you got the same, like a little soft green baby blue leather. Kind of like the same blue that you see on the outsoles of the left sneaker. Now let's take a look at this pattern right here. So right where you see the red and these yellows and purple hues. So that basically what's inspired by that is basically um, shaved ice intolerables, which is a 
a Taipei dessert. So real nice touch right there. And um, I'm gonna grab the insoles out of this one as well. So just give me one second. So now we take a look at the right insoles. So just right off the bat, it kind of just gives me like tiger stripe vibes, but that's not what this is. So it has colors of like brown, almost orange and yellow. So basically what the meaning behind this insole is basically the scene of a bench terrace with and then a landscaping method used to grow rice paddies. So that's what that is right there. And it does have the same lettering style as on the other insole. So you see the Zoom Air and the Nike SB done in a brown color. And again, you got the zoom on the forefoot, I mean on the heel. So that's a look at the insoles. And now we just continue with the rest of the sneakers. So as you guys can see, the liner right here, it's almost done like in an orange, almost brownish type color. And basically what that just represents is the color of the meats. And now taking a look at the outsole. So again, traditional SB outsole. And it's done in that yellow right there. Then right here in the middle, Nike has B branded in white. And basically just the color that they chose with this. So the yellow is supposed to represent the cooking oils in which they cook the food in, obviously. And um, now I'll bring back both together and we'll finish it from there. All right, so now we bring back both sneakers together and we'll just give you guys another look at them, 360. And like I was saying earlier in the video, I know this is not everybody's cup of tea. This would have been an easy pass for some people, but for people like me, it was definitely something I had to have. And I was really hoping to hit on the raffles that I entered, including Premiere, because I always basically hit on that site whenever they had the raffle. So they had a raffle. I was I had a good feeling that I was gonna get them, but you know, eventually took a L, even on the sneakers app. So, you know, shout out to 1004 Kicks again, man. He really came through with the trade, but he got something, I think, better, in my opinion. So, if you're watching this, you know you got a good deal, man. But, um, so now let's finish off with the sneakers. So, I didn't go over the laces and basically the colors for that. So, basically, the main spices that they use in China for their food and they kind of show it right here with the laces so right here with the laces on the right shoe it is done in your black the tongue is done in that black mesh material as well got a nylon patch right there and your nike sb dunk low pro and almost in a dark red color and so basically what this represents is the black pepper for the left sneaker you got your white laces as well white mesh tongue white nylon patch with nike sb in your like almost gold orange type color and what that is supposed to represent is the garlic and so these do come with an extra set of laces so let's take a quick look at that i didn't unlace them yet and i was going to change the laces around but i want to give you guys the review first so this is how they come intact if anyone's you know trying to buy a pair you're just curious so this is how they come intact doesn't have no plastic around it so the colors right here that you see the green and like the beige colors so the green is supposed to represent uh, I believe the shallots and then this beige color right here is supposed to be the ginger so very nice touch and then that's also why you have the green on the sock liner on the left sneaker so again real nice touch Nike SB did their thing on these and these are so sick. I can't wait to have these on feet. And on um, birthdays coming up. So these might be my choice of sneakers that I wear that day. But man, overall, really glad to have these in the collection. Um, I'm more of a fan of the right sneaker. I don't, I'm not saying that I don't like the left one. But if they came, both of them in this color right here, it would have been so dope. Or even if this color on both. But either one i like this one better but you know either one is, is still fine with me so. so that basically wraps up the video guys uh thank you guys for watching all my new all my new watchers actually make sure you hit the 
subscribe button and also make sure you guys hit that bell icon because that way you guys are notified of when I drop videos so you'll be the first ones to watch and um, if you made it this far in the video I appreciate it I know it's a long one but I try to break down the sneaker to the best of my ability and um, if you guys want to stay in touch you guys can follow me on Instagram at souls underscore and laces and um, I'm always posting like sneaker info there um, if you need help with something sneaker apps um, tips and all that make sure to check me out follow me there and um, you know I'm always trying to look out for you guys so one last look and yeah so I'm gonna catch you guys in the next review and this is it right here all right peace